They don't look like your regular rugby players, barefoot and scoring in headscarves. These Ghanaian girls are challenging stereotypes. My aspiration is to be the best rugby player to represent my country. Rafatu Inusa, who works for Ghana's Rugby Football Union and was one of the country's first female players, wants the sport to be inclusive. It's for everybody, whether Christians, Muslims, Hindus, everybody can play rugby. The players often compete locally, but the union wants to change that. It's aiming for the Olympics and world titles. We want to get the students we are training here, we attach them to clubs, we monitor their progress, and then in the next five years, four years, five years, we are hoping that they'll be able to play in the under 16s, in the under 20s, under 18s for the national team. Nearly 400,000 African young people participated in rugby training programs in 2016 as part of a scheme to recruit more players on the continent. Touch. Touch two hands on the rugby remains a male-dominated sport in Africa, but a scrum of girls taking it up could soon contest possession of the game. Adeshawa Josh, TRT World.